Yeah, so my name is Maya. Uh, I come from uh, Port of Rønne, which is a port authority on the Danish island of Bornholm, which is located in the middle of the Baltic Sea. Uh, Marike Beckmann from the Global Maritime Forum. We are headquartered in Copenhagen. Okay, um, and what was this panel about and what was it that um, caught your eye, as it were? I think from, from my perspective, uh, when we talk about decarbonization, we often uh, talk about all the different value chain uh, actors that need to do their part in, in all of this. And what you were talking about for the role of the ports, uh, the complications around uh, you know, the fact that we will probably have a fuel mix, so there won't be just one fuel available in these ports, but multiple fuels. How do we cope with that when we have limited space in a the, in the port is probably a question that uh, caught my eye. And I think also the fact that, say, the decarbonization, there are so many different things that we need to do and we need to remember to do. So there is all the things that you can do on energy efficiency, uh, both what you technically do, but also from an operational point of view, uh, like the discussions about uh, just-in-time arrival. And then there is, of course, a change to the fuels that we need to do at some point, but what will we change into and when will we change and what are the different options that you can choose from, which again feeds back to the value chain that there are many different actors and we have to prepare for a for future with a lot of different fuels and not just one single solution. And then and this, these people are looking to the ports to provide these solutions, but uh, by the sounds of it, not all of them will be available. There might be some favourites. Um, how, will, how will you approach that? I think a challenge for the ports is that we are almost always located close to, uh, to, uh, to cities. Uh, and that puts some limits on what we can do. Yes, we could probably find locations, for example, for a fuel like ammonia. Uh, but there will also be a lot of discussions in the local community that a port automatically is part of. Can we have this fuel? Uh, will we allow for it? What does local community say? So one thing is what the industry want to do. Another thing is that we as ports need to be able to do it, but at the same time uh, get the acceptance from our local community. I think the, my response to, to this would also be that the uh, you need to go by which the natural resources you have. So not every location will have available every fuel. Mm -hmm. There will still be global trade. Uh, you will still have uh, Australia, you know, supplying not just Asia, but uh, other parts of the world with fuel, for example. Uh, but that, uh, that still means that you should be going with whatever natural resources you have, what natural strength a region mm -hmm. has. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll probably pick a, a, a fuel based on that uh, rather than who wants which fuel as well. So there's that extra layer.